in the potentiometer circuit the balance point is at j so we have balance or null point at j explain where the balance point will shift when one resistance r is increased keeping all the parameter unchanged two resistance s is increased keeping r constant and third cell x is replaced by another cell whose emf is lower than that of cell y so in the figure okay we have cell x having emf e1 and we have cell y okay having emf e2 and r is variable resistance okay so we have this and s is variable resistance clear we have this and g is galvanometer and we have balance point or null point at j so we have this we need to find the shift in balance point okay under these condition now let us discuss okay in brief about the principle okay principle of potentiometer so from the principle of potentiometer okay potential drop or fall in potential across any length of the potentiometer wire is directly proportional to the length of that portion of the potentiometer wire so we can write in this way b proportional to l so v equals constant k times l and we know k this is constant of proportionality and is called potential gradient okay it is called potential gradient so we can see k equals potential by length so it is called potential gradient now k equals v is i times r and we have length okay at the denominator so we can write in this way i by l and we know resistance r equals rho specific resistance of the wire l length divided by area of cross section so rho is specific resistance or is called resistivity okay of the wire so we have this now let us simplify it therefore we can write potential gradient k equals i rho by a so we have this expression okay and we use this expression clear in solving or in discussing this problem okay now what we find from the question is that the given circuit is balanced okay so i'm writing over here the given circuit circuit is balanced so we have this now let us discuss case one when resistance r is increased okay keeping all the parameters unchanged so when r is increased now at balance condition okay what we find is that no current is drawn from cell y having emf e2 so we find this okay we find current is produced by cell having emf e1 only that is only cell x produces current so let i be the current given by the cell 
x having emf e1 and current flows in this direction okay so we have this therefore at balance condition current produced or current drawn from cell having emf e2 is zero so i'm writing at balanced condition okay we have given circuit which is balanced at balanced condition no current is given or drawn from cell y having emf e2 so we have this now what we find is that okay when resistance okay when resistance r is increased keeping all the parameters fixed or unchanged okay when r is increased then in this diagram okay then current i decreases so if current i decreases then from this equation so what we find potential gradient decreases so we can write if current i decreases okay decreases then potential gradient okay k decreases so we find this okay we find this so let me put this whole statement okay in a box so what we find okay when resistance is increased then from this expression okay then from this expression current i decreases okay it decreases and if current i decreases then potential gradient decreases now when we look into this circuit okay we have this we have balance point okay we have balanced point at j so we have this okay this is b we have cell y having emf e2 we have resistance s galvanometer and balance point at j so we have this so therefore this is a okay what we find drop we need to find drop okay so what do you find potential drop or drop in potential drop in potential potential drop across length az so we need to find this okay potential drop across length az so since e2 is connected okay or there is e2 between a and j so therefore we can write e2 equals okay we have this from the principle of potentiometer okay drop in potential or fall in potential across any length of the potentiometer wire is directly proportional to the length of that portion of the potentiometer wire therefore drop in potential across az is e2 so this equals k times length of az so length of 
the portion AZ of the potentiometer wire. Now, from the question, okay, we find R is increased, keeping all the parameters unchanged. So, that is E2 is fixed. It is not changing. Clear? Only R is increased, keeping all the parameters fixed or unchanged. So, E2 is constant. It is fixed, okay? So, I am writing in this way. It is unchanged. So, I am using same term from the question or it is fixed. But we find K decreases. So, therefore, in order to keep E2 fixed or constant, LZ, okay? Because if K decreases, then the length AJ must increase, okay? So that the product K times the product K times LAZ remains fixed, that is constant. So we find this, okay? So what we do now is that if k decreases then l is a okay that is length so i'm writing in this way that is length must increase okay why because e2 remains unchanged or is constant or is fixed so, what happens when length AZ increases? So, from this figure, okay, what we find? This is B, this is A. Initially, we had balance point at J. Clear? Now, if the length increases, okay, so now, if the length increases, so initially we were having this length, okay. Initially, we were having length AZ because we move the jockey of potentiometer from A until we get the null point at J. Now, length is increased so that we get balance point, let's say J dash close to B. So, what do you find? If K decreases, then the length AZ, that is length, must increase. Therefore, therefore, the balance point shift towards B. So, we find this, okay. So, this is the conclusion we draw when we have this condition okay so what you find balance point shifts towards b because the length increases when potential gradient that is k decreases so we find this now let us consider next case okay case 2 so i'm writing over here case 2 Resistance S is increased. S is increased. Okay. So I'm writing in this way. S increased. Now we know the given circuit is balanced. Okay. So I'm writing over here. Given circuit is balanced. So increasing. So, at balance condition, we find no current is drawn from cell having EMF E2, that is from cell Y. So, increasing so increasing S will not change, okay, will not change the balance point change the balance point when S is increased keeping R constant. 
because we know at balance point okay at balance condition no current okay at balance condition what do you find at balance condition no current is drawn from cell y having emf e2 so we have this now third okay case third cell x okay and we know cell x is having emf e1 is replaced by another cell whose emf is lower than that of cell y so what do you find cell x having emf e1 is replaced by another cell having emf less than cell y having emf e2 so we find this so if this is the condition then no balance point okay then no balance point so let me write in this way then no balance point is obtained so in order to have a balance point or to get a null point okay what we must have to get null point to get null point emf of cell x must be greater than emf of cell y so we must have this condition okay 